We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faith Black Lights, we take a look at this. And what this is from Nissen, it is the hot and spicy fiery beef. Now, this I think is a relatively new flavor. I have done the Nissen hot and spicy, I believe, chicken. They have a chicken and a shrimp that are about the same heat, but this one is slightly hotter. It is not meant to be as hot as the fiery wok. Uh, those videos, by the way, are all up in the ramen playlist if you want to check any of those out. But I saw this one, so maybe it's meant to be kind of a bridge the gap. I mean, it's not like the other ones are crazy hot or anything. But um, th this one definitely, you know, they have the regular ones and they have the hot and spicy and they have the fire walk. And so this might be just the hottest of the hot and spicy. Although... I mean, I think the hot and spicy, I, I remember it, I think, somewhat favorably in the uh, other video. But definitely it wasn't, like, hot or anything. And I'm just looking here. Try to see if we can find anything. Referring to a pepper. And I'm not seeing anything. So I'm guessing it's... Whatever the heat driver is, is probably buried in um, natural flavorings or something. Alright, so here's the chili sauce. It's like a paste almost, I guess. Uh, flavoring packet, dried vegetables, don't need those. Okay, so. We've got noodles as normal, so by now, if you've seen the other videos. And if not, uh, there is a handy dandy ramen playlist for you to check out where you can view them. By now though, if, you, if you're familiar that you kind of know our methodology here, we add the seasonings. I'm gonna add the chili now. I don't always do this. Because sometimes I like, like the fire walk, the pork is really good if you don't add the the additional heat. So the additional heat just actually kind of ruins it. It's not bad by itself, for, especially for being instant noodles. But we're going to add this all up front. And so what we're going to do is we're going, and this is from the Marichan Yakisoba method that I, I like the way that they came out. So uh, we're going to, ah, damn it. We're gonna get it on our fingers. We're gonna let it go for uh, four minutes in the microwave and sit for five, and then we will come back and uh, see what kind of enemies we have. Okay, here we are after the process. You can see I don't like a lot of soup base here, so these noodles cook up a little bit differently. This is a uh, Kind of interesting. All the ramens, you know, all the ramens have their own little differences and noodle width and texture and so on. It's kind of fun. Get a kick out of that. Uh, all right, so this is very fragrant. Very fragrant soup. You can definitely smell lemongrass. Lemongrass with beef is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to go because lemon beef, not really a thing, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Let's uh, let's get to it and try it out. Okay. So I'm used to having. 
lemongrass together with things like chicken or shrimp. I think it's the two times I have it most of the time. And I think the reason that sometimes with pork even, like a char siu pork maybe, I don't ever see it really with beef. And I, and I think, like I've never heard of a recipe for lemon beef, lemon chicken, definitely. In fact, I've made lemon and pepper chicken numerous times myself. Uh, this is not a good meshing. This is, um, honestly a little on the foul side, but we'll see if we can get any heat out of it. What, why lemongrass? I don't get it. I don't understand why you would put that in here. And we got a picture of a lime, which I think is kind of questionable for beef. Is citrus and beef? I don't get it. I think I maybe have heard of an orange beef, orange chicken for sure. I I don't know. This is um, I don't like this. Lemongrass is a highly fragrant flavor, right? I don't think that always works well with beef because beef is a rich, hearty flavor. And I think you need to complement that a little bit. You have to kind of play into that because otherwise you, you get this, which is just not a good meshing. I guess there's no other way to say it, it just isn't. I do enjoy these noodles though, these noodles are pretty good tasting. The texture, texture wise, when you can get away from that horrible flavor of the, of the soup base, not bad, as far as the noodles go. They're almost kind of like a vermicelli or an angel hair if you prefer, which is I, I think one of my favorite types of noodles. I don't like really heavy pasta noodles. And it's pretty rare that I'll have those. Like I don't mind. You know, ravioli or lasagna once in a while. But like fettuccine and even spaghetti, the noodles just get a bit overly thick for me. It's just not my preference. I, I like angel hair. But I'm not a big, big bread guy or anything either, so. The starchy, carby stuff is not really my thing. Weird. So this is just strange. Uh, not. All right. That's enough of that. Let's see, we just have a little bit of soup left here. So uh, this was weird. That's where I would put this. I would put this. Firmly in the weird category. I'm not even sure I would give it a default one, actually. It, it, there's not a lot of spice to be had here. They're giving it two peppers out of six. Whereas the regular hot and spicy, I think, is one. One pepper out of six. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I wouldn't say that's the case. I, w I would not say that this, this, I'm getting a sort of an all around, it's just such a low tingling though. I, I just hate the, uh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to give this a default one. It, it just, it's not there. It is not there. This is uh, supposedly spicier than the other ones, and maybe it is by a very slight degree, but. You know that feeling you get in your mouth when you have a, sort of a temperature hottish beverage? That's really what it feels like, but it is so low key that I just struggle with the idea because it's not really much more than temperature. I mean, I, all right, I get it. fine, 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 fine. I'll give it a default one, I guess. It can have a default one, which is not legitimately spicy. It's just more than if there was nothing there at all. And, uh, yeah, flavor-wise, not, not my thing. The, 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 in fact, the flavor combination here, I would go so far as to say is outright bad. Beef and lemongrass are not a good mesh. Definitely not for me. I find this to be overly fragrant and, uh, ultimately not really enjoyable. So, uh, a big miss as far as I'm concerned, but, um, yeah, I don't, I, there's nothing else to add. This is just, uh, this is not something I would ever, not only would I never get it again, I would never consider eating it again either. Uh, a number of the other ramens that have appeared in the ramen playlist, I've had and enjoyed a few times outside even of filming. This will not be among those. So, uh, yeah, no good. <laughs> and we'll just leave it there. I wouldn't even say it's good as kind of a change of pace, kind of a new adventure thing. It, it just, like, this is, I think it's a flawed premise, just a combination of flavors here. So we'll leave it there. But there it is, the Nissan Hot and Spicy Fiery Beef Rum. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.